I have a bird problem. And by all rights, I shouldn't have a bird problem because I have two cats that I don't want that came home, <laughs> that came home with a daughter from Colorado. And the two cats, she brought a sweet little six pound, one-eyed gray tabby, who, she's just a sweet little thing, she cuddles. And she brought home an 18 pound black monster that I affectionately call Satan. Okay. <laughs> He's really something. So I, I, should, I think the very presence of the cats there should eliminate, uh, eliminate the bird problems. But the cats don't go outside, they're inside. And I don't even know if the cats know what to do with the birds. I know that they know what to do with the things on my counter, but I don't know if they know what to do with the birds. But the bird problem is in my powder room. So it's on the first floor of my house, and it's in the vent. The vent goes outside, you know, through the exhaust, and there's a little hood on the outside of the um, house where the exhaust goes out. And I'm in the bathroom one day, and I hear flap, 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 cheep, 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 cheep. Like, oh, rats. There's birds in a nest in my vent, in the fan vent. I'm thinking, oh, this is not good because, you know, if I have guests come over and they accidentally hit the, the, the fan, I'm going to have saw three in my powder room, and that's probably not, <laughs> that's probably not a good look. <laughs> so I've got to get rid of the birds. And it's spring, so, you know, what's coming in spring? Baby birds. I want the birds gone. So my, my other daughter has a strapping six-foot-one computer scientist fiancé. So I invite them out to dinner, and I said, dinner's on me. They looked a little skeptical. I said, drinks, appetizers, desserts, the whole thing's on me. So after the dinner was over, I said to the fiancé, I said, how did you enjoy your dinner? He goes, what is it that you want? <laughs> I said, well, I have a bird problem. So I explained the situation, and I, at heart, I really am an animal lover, and I said, I, I want no fatalities with these birds. And he's a good Georgian boy, and he said, Miss Trace, I will cup those birds in a fleeced, gloved hand like a newborn child and release them gently into the wild. And I said, that's great. And even if that's not what happens, that's what you're going to tell me has happened, right? He said, absolutely. So he agrees to take, the bird, to, to take on the bird problem. Now, this really isn't his thing. I think I mentioned he was a computer scientist, but he really wanted to impress me. He, he's out to make a good impression. He's still a new fiance. So he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this future mother-in-law and I can do these household chores. So I leave for a conference for the weekend and he's choosing that weekend to come and, and take care of the birds. He does not tell the daughter who owns the cats, however, that he's coming over at 6.30 on Saturday morning. So it didn't get off to a, quite an auspicious start because he comes in the house and she's standing at the top of the landing saying, I've called 911 and I have a bat. <laughs> But they, they worked that out, and he started um, to, to tackle the bird problem. So he bangs on the vent, you know. And the way the powder room is situated, he has to bang on the vent, and then run to the window, and then bang on the vent, run on the window, and he watches two birds fly out. He's like, okay, we're good. Hooks up the leaf blower, and he's going to blow that nest out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he sticks that up there, and he blows the nest out. Well, the nest gets caught, <laughs> okay in the hood, right? He's like, well, I, I, I'm gonna. I, I, he wants to get this done and do it right, right? So he goes out to the, la to the garage and he gets all the ladder out, because it's just high enough that he needs a ladder. He gets the ladder out and he puts on his gloves and he, he even, he was really trying to impress, he even brought um, a mesh screen. So he's gonna put it out up there afterwards so that the birds don't come back in, right? So, so I was quite impressed. So anyway, he gets up on the ladder and he starts to fish out the nest, you know, and he's really having to dig back in there because the leaf blower just didn't quite do its job. And as he's doing it, a bird flies out and bam, right in the forehead. <laughs> okay. And it startled him apparently, as well as the bird. He lifts both hands up, he goes, bah, like this. <laughs> Falls back, tries to grab on to the, to the porch post and he said he heard what he thought was a t-shirt ripping. It was not. It was his shoulder. Shoulder muscle. <laughs> he said his right arm just, just fell right down, right? But he went back up and fished out that nest. 
fished out the nest. He's really trying to impress me. He did not, however, put the screen on the on the bed. <laughs> so, so he he then he one arm, you know, he's dragging it around. He he gets the ladder back. He puts the ladder back in the garage. Goes back through the garage. Comes back out of the house through the kitchen. Drives down, drives home, and 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 tells my daughter ends up taking him to urgent care. While they're in urgent care, he texted me and said. There's been no fatalities, but there has been a maiming. I'm like, oh, I felt horrible, right? <laughs> he ends up in a sling and on all kinds of medication and, and immobilized for a couple of weeks. And, but in the meantime, the daughter who owns the cats has left, gone for an exercise. She comes back. Now, this has been a bloodless injury, but when she walks back into the kitchen, there is blood everywhere. And she's thinking, oh my gosh, what the heck, you know? She, she looks over and as she's walking to the garage, opens the garage and sees feathers everywhere and looks into her, to the cat's food bowl, there's one bird leg sticking up out of the food bowl. So apparently the birds, the cats do know what to do with those birds. <laughs> and and he, um, he, he got that bird and he put the bird, they, both of them, like apparently they worked together because she said that they were prancing and looked very proud of themselves. And uh, she's horrified. She takes the food bowl where the bird is left with one leg sticking out. She takes the whole thing and pitches it all in the garage. And she's all day long. The cats kept coming back to that food bowl going, I had a feast. We had a feast. We had this planned. So I get the text from the conference and said, well, about that fatality. <laughs> So I'm on my way here this morning. And I'm, you know, I'm getting ready. I'm in my bathroom. And I hear. Flap, 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 flap. Cheep, 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 cheep. So I still have a bird problem. If anyone's interested, <laughs> I'm hiring now. <laughs>